it sure looks like spring out here, but at the Bonaduce compound, we are uh, still in snowmobile mode, as you can see. We have all of the snowmobile trailers here. And a new camper. I haven't showed you guys a new camper yet, but we'll get to that in another video. We have all the sleds in the shop. It's kind of messy in here. Garbage, sled, 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 sleds. So before we get to today's video, which uh, some people may not care about, but I know a lot of you guys do like to know what I'm getting for next year. We have some housekeeping to do. This upcoming weekend, April 20th, we have the race in Saddleback or in Rangeley, Maine at Saddleback Mountain. Um, I'm running five different classes, uh, one of them being King of the Hill, and we will be there all, literally all day. Uh, race. So if you guys are bored or if you live in the area, come out, check us out. Um, I will be there, Bruce will be there, his girlfriend Kate, uh, Whitney, um, that you guys have met on the channel before. She will be there. Um, all of us are actually racing. We're gonna have uh, 9R cross country sled, snow cross sled, my boost, Whitney's assault. So we're gonna have a, a fleet of people. Um, but yeah, we'll be there. So come out and see us guys. But anyway, today's video is gonna be rather short. Um, I know some of you guys have been speculating what I'm getting for this upcoming season. Uh, we know that I went to an assault this year, which is literally on the camera right now, and I enjoyed it a lot, and I'm going to do a whole overview of the assault and what we changed and my thoughts on it kind of throughout the season, but next year, what are we getting? So pretty much, you know, we try and keep up with the latest and greatest. You know, what is the, the craziest thing that players came out with? That's kind of what we go with, obviously, when the Boost came out or when the XCR came out. We got, or actually, when the VR1 came out, we got that. When the XCR came out, we got that. When the Boost came out, we got that. Uh, last year, they didn't really come out with anything new. So we just decided to change it up and went Assault Boost still. Um, so this year, kind of we have a couple things. You know, nothing was changed suspension wise, geometry wise at least. Um, motor wise, they put a 9R on a short track or a trail sled, which um, kind of we had that already. We did that for the last two years and they are awesome. Um, so really it was like, you know, I got with Bruce and I'm like, well, what are we going to do? So it was really between getting a, an XCR 9R or the, uh, VR1 with dynamics. And obviously, I mean, it's kind of, I'm sure a lot of you guys are gonna be like, yeah, obviously you went that direction, but we are ordering or did order, I should say a VR1 137 boost with the dynamic shock. So pretty much us being as in tune with the suspension side of things uh, that we are as always, um, with something new like that coming out, it's like, okay, we have to get it. I gotta get on it. I gotta see what they're all about and see um, kind of what they like, what they don't like, and kind of start learning that whole uh, new world now, because obviously that's a new world for myself and definitely for Bruce. And uh, we're just gonna go from there. I mean, it's gonna be a big learning curve for all of us you know, involved, but um, they are super, super cool. And I'm excited to, to try them and see how they feel and, and see if we can get them to work as we like. Um, obviously it's a really cool system and I'm very excited. And if they work as they should, I mean, these things should be a complete game changer. And I know I talked about that in the 25 release, but should be a pretty big game changer, but yeah. It is a short video, guys. I just want to let you know that Saddleback is next weekend and that I'm getting uh, VR1 Boost with Dynamics. So I'm going back to a short track. This is for sale, guys. Um, I got to work up a number on it to see. I know I have one guy already interested in it. It will have the stock rear skid in it. Ice Age will not be going with that. I'm selling. I probably have that whole skid sold already. Um, but this is for sale, so if you guys are interested, let me know. Um, we have some racing news in the horizon. If I can get my printer to work, which is why that whole place is a mess over there. Uh, we'll be filling out some paperwork, but we have the cross-country sled still in our position and uh, working on a couple things for next year. Uh, next video will be prep for Saddleback. I gotta tear this thing apart. We're gonna put a big tune in this. I gotta get some good fuel. 
um, and throw a good big tune in it from uh, Velocity Sled Performance. So we have all the power at Saddleback next weekend. This is not what I'm racing in the King of the Mountain. I'm actually racing one of Bruce's 9Rs for the King of the Mountain uh, segment, but I am racing this in the uh, Unlimited Power Adder class. So I figured we'd throw a big tune in it and see what it could do. But guys, I know I've been MIA. I know it's kind of spring outside, so it's not really snowmobile season and everyone's getting their lawnmowers out and their boats and their jet skis and whatever else that you guys do. But it's still snowmobile world here. <laughs> I don't really know how, but it is. So uh, hopefully I see some of you guys out there. If you see me, come up and say hi. Um, I'll be happy to hang out with you guys and talk and do whatever else. I, I don't know where the trailer is gonna be parked in reference to where we are, but I'll have some merch and hats and t-shirts, sweatshirts, stickers, stuff like that. So that is gonna do it guys. Again, quick little video here and uh, it's Sunday. I'm gonna head over to Chris's and watch the NASCAR race. But that's gonna do it guys. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys.